I'm John Weisbarth, and I travel across the country with my building partner, tiny house expert, Zach Giffen. And together, we help people build their mini dream homes. On this special edition of Tiny House Nation, Zach and I work with a celebrity power couple that are bigger than life and ready to go tiny. Super Bowl champion and Hall of Famer, primetime Deion Sanders. Let me. And actress, producer, and extra TV host, Tracy Edmonds. Thanks, guys. Back to you. This is a Hall of Fame football player. We need a Hall of Fame house. This is the top. Yeah, we're going here. Prime time level. <laughs> Can we create a tiny sanctuary for Dion and Tracy? No, dog. No! I told you they had some plan for us. Baby, you got me on that one. <laughs> I ain't saying it. That still includes the luxury and comfort they'll need to keep the romance alive. I got a little problem. You're putting me in an awkward position. Can I throw one more thing at you? <laughs> Are they up for the challenge of going from 7,000 square feet to just 600? Oh, no. It's cluttered. Every time you, you, you say clutter, you look at me, though. I'm already minimal. Does he look like he's minimal, John? You want that fancy bathroom? Yes, I do. You beat us, we deliver. And are Zach and I up for the challenge of facing this Hall of Famer on the gridiron? I hope you can build a house better than you build a team. Tiny! Tiny homes are the next big thing. This week, we find ourselves in Cedar Hill, Texas, and you will never believe who we're helping to go tiny. Legendary superstar, professional baseball and football player, Dion Sanders, and his girlfriend of five years, Tracy Edmonds. And a big defensive play by Sanders. I was blessed with a lot of athletic ability, and thank God I was able to play Major League Baseball and professional football. Right now, I'm a a youth coach and, and mentor and NFL Network uh, analyst and so many more things that are attached to that beloved game that I, I adore. But Dion's not the only one with multiple responsibilities. This is a true power couple. I am a co-host on the TV show called Extra. All right, everyone, have a good evening. See you tomorrow. And besides that, I'm a TV and film producer. The two met five years ago at the premiere of one of Tracy's films. I saw her walk by, like she had on a hula hoop, you know, like, shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> You know, I told one of my friends who was there with me, oh, it's on. <laughs> oh, baby, it's on. You better believe it's on. Tracy lives in Los Angeles, where her TV show tapes, and Dion lives in Dallas. And this tiny home, it's going to be the couple's first home together. In fact, Dion's big picture plan is to eventually dig a fishing lake on this piece of property, 104 acres that he's got out here, and then build other homes around it for his extended family. But the tiny house that he's asked Zach and I to help with, this is the first part of that plan. And it's also going to be a romantic getaway for him and Tracy when they need to escape from their hectic lives. I want to go tiny because I'm a fan of the show. Let's, let's get that straight. I record all the episodes. He really does. I've been through pretentiousness of huge and humongous, and I want everybody to know that I've made it, I'm successful. I'm past that. Now it's about needs, not wants. Time is for us. <laughs> That's it. Yep. Zach's been here for the past three days, working with our contractor, Justin, from Canyon Creek Homes, to get the home's foundation poured and the framing started. Dion really likes the idea of windows across the front, and it actually has about 400 square feet of porch space. So that's going to be fun. All right. Well, I should have known it wasn't going to be an average tiny house <laughs> being for Dion. When I was growing up, Dion Sanders was such a big name, and it's just great to see someone like that doing so much work for kids. I think going tiny and focusing on the things that really matter in life is such a good example for the kids. Go Team Dion. I mean, I like the layout. It's like a nice big living room. You got a good sized bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. I think it's a great house design. And the fact that there's so much porch space and then a rooftop deck, it's like, I am in. So I guess get at it, huh? Let's try it. All right. While they continue framing up the house, I am on my way to Dallas to meet Dion and Tracy at their current 7,000 square foot home. 
believe it or not, that's already a massive downsize for Dion. His old home was nearly 30,000 square feet. So we're moving in the right direction, but let's be honest, 7,000 square feet, not exactly Spartan. I mean, these guys can't even have a normal conversation without intercoms at this point. Dion, what do you want to have for dinner tonight? What'd you say? So they hope that going tiny will mentally and physically bring them closer together. Hello. What's going on, man? How's it going? Wow. Going, buddy. Nice to nice to meet you officially. Hi. Hi. I'm Tracy. Hi, Tracy. So nice John. to finally meet you. You're Dion Sanders? Yes. I used to be a sportscaster, so I know things about Dion Sanders. I know that he's the only player ever to play in a World Series and a Super Bowl that he's fourth all time on the interception return list, that he's a football hall of famer. So yeah, I'm freaking out a little bit here. Thank you for coming <laughs> to our humble abode. Yeah, well, humble is one way to put it, I guess. <laughs> well, well, this is our rental home. Okay. It's a little over 7,000 square foot. Okay, <laughs> this idea about going tiny, mm -hmm. this has been a, like a work in progress. Right. Yeah. Because you make it, you're successful, so you build this monstrosity of a home, then you start living in it, and over time, over time, you get wisdom. Mm -hmm. And you say, I don't really need all of that. Part of what Zach and I do is really determine what is going to make a tiny house work specifically for you guys. I want to get a sense of your style. This does not reflect our style. Oh, OK. He likes black and red. OK. And my taste is silvers or grays. You know when we're at our most peaceful is when we're in a hotel room. Because there's an intimacy. Yeah, and that's kind of what we want it to feel like. We want to have a staycation. So I don't like to travel. Yeah. I don't like to travel. I don't know exactly. Yeah, there's kids. Yeah. <laughs> my niece, my nephew, my mother lives here. There's just like people on top of each other. <laughs> See what we're saying? Somebody's always here. This is my nephew. Oh, yeah. And my niece. Nice Come on. Very nice to meet you. And this is my sister. As we were just saying, somebody else don't always come. Dion and I have a long distance relationship. I spend most of my time in LA and he's here in Dallas. So when it's my turn to come to Dallas, I stay, you know, at Dion's house and it's very crowded. So I am really looking forward to this tiny house because it'll give us a chance to just find some us time. I am interested in how you use this house, so I'd love to see some of the rooms <laughs> that you do. We spend time in the bedroom, and we walk to the kitchen, and we go right back to the bedroom. That's it. Well, let's start in the kitchen, then. Yeah. Yes, you can. OK, let's cool. Go. While I'm getting the lay of the land with Dion and Tracy, the crew are busy at the build, adding sheathing, installing a waterproofing membrane on the home's roof, and Zach is checking out some of the stone detailing pieces that will line the home's exterior. Hey, what's going on with all of the stone? The entire house is going to be covered in this stone. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, if we're going to do stone on the siding, I absolutely would say we should do stone on the chimney because the chimney will really stand out, so it should match the exterior. That would be, I think, my first choice. Right. All right, why don't you give me a hand here? OK, so this is the kitchen. Nice. This is Shador, my 14-year-old. Hi, Shador. I'm John, man. Shador. Nice to meet you. So yeah, talk to me a little bit about what you think you need out of the tiny house to make it work. Serenity, okay. peace, close proximity to the lake. Okay. So I could fish and fish. Fishing is such a big part of my life from early on. Those are vital, peaceful, joyful moments. And I treasure those moments. Okay, so fishing is a big thing. Because I never slow down. I'm always going 100 miles an hour mm -hmm. with kids, not only my own kids, but at school I coach. I have this youth organization called Truth. I love just molding kids and just encouraging and motivating, just inspiring. So now's an opportunity to not only give back, but maybe set an example for, for the youth? Yes. It's one of the things that, again, I talk nice, about. Nice to see you all. Oh, we got more? It's always a bunch of kids and people over. You can't even sleep in peace. And, and we do get a lot of door knocks. And so, like, yeah. right when we're getting into, like, a good nap, yeah. then knock, 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 and then you wake up. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, yeah, sometimes... You get into some good something else in the knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I get it. And this actually makes sense, especially seeing how chaotic the house is. Tracy has two kids. Dylan has five. You add in nieces and nephews. This place is a circus. All Dion and Tracy want is a spot where they can go and be together. And that's what the tiny house is going to be. I'm starting to understand why tiny. Let's figure out how. I want to know physically what needs to be in there. Kitchen, obviously, there'll be one. I, I mean, honestly, he knows. I don't really cook. Okay. Um, 
Are you a bathroom person? I mean, usually like kitchens, yes. bath. Yes. Okay. Bathroom space is really important. Okay. I mean, if I could see the bathroom that you're using now, we we got to put a disclaimer. It's cluttered. Whoa. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is why the disclaimers. No, it's like trying to be a glamorous bathroom, and then you got all of this going on. Right. <laughs> Safe to say this place needs a little tidying up. I mean, I think the bathroom needs a bathroom of its own. I mean, if this isn't your style, what is it that you want? Good spot for my toiletries. Yeah. Uh, you know, just enough storage for that. He needs a great shower, right? I need a shower. Okay. That's about it. Okay, cool. Well, let's see the bedroom. This is right over yeah. here. Yeah. Remember that door unit we were talking about? Yeah, I just mean. Just delivered it. Yeah, wow. We shipped these in from La Cantina. Look, Look at that. So this spans the entire front of the <laughs> tiny home. These glass doors are awesome. They're gonna open up just like a sliding glass door, only they collapse together like an accordion. So it's gonna completely open up the living room to the outdoors. Oh man, Dion is gonna be so happy with oh, this. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> While Zach geeks out over these high-end goodies, the crew is applying flashy tape to weatherproof the home's many windows and plumbing is being installed. We like to watch movies, so we that's oh. our thing. All right, so as far as movie night stuff, that's here? Yeah, but that's in the bed. You know, eating some snacks, cuddling, you know. Speaking of that. Snacks. <laughs> what is this? This is a gift from God. <laughs> is that hot, hot sauce? Hot sauce. Yeah. Hot sauce goes on everything. <laughs> this is just for the convenience? Yes. The, the idea of, like, you're in here, snuggled away. In the old house, we had a full kitchen. Gotcha. In the bedroom. That's why this tiny house is going to be great, because it's going to have everything in one little spot, too. But it's going to be pretty and cute and neat. Our sanctuary is our bedroom. Is it? And so we just want to lay in bed, watch TV, a lot of times eat in the bed. And we like everything right there for us. So what I've heard, it's about you guys being able to spend time together. Staycation. Uh, the other the other thing was the bathroom. You know, we talked about that, enough storage for, for toiletries and yep. stuff. And uh, my fish and stuff. OK, and your fish and stuff. And then an it. armed guard to keep everybody else from coming in. <laughs> All right, you come with me. i got a lot to talk to Zach about. Dion previously lived in a massive 29,000 square foot estate before moving into a <clears throat> modest 7,000 square foot rental property while he and Tracy build the 600 square foot tiny home of their dreams. The couple have different visual styles. Tracy wants a sophisticated modern look while Dion feels comfortable in the clubhouse. So the tiny home will give the best of both worlds with a sleek but masculine aesthetic. The home's exterior will feature stone facing and a large wraparound porch with an overhanging roof, which also enlarges the footprint for the home's rooftop deck. Inside, the living room will be designed for comfort, the bold fireplace and plenty of space to entertain or curl up and stay warm together. The downstairs will also have an upscale and modern kitchen, a comfortable bedroom with ample closet space and a luxurious bathroom. The entire upstairs will serve as an open rooftop deck with gorgeous views of the soon to be added lake and plenty of space to relax and get some sun. On a budget of $130,000 and 14 days to get things done, we should be able to give Dion and Tracy a romantic getaway tiny home with all the bells and whistles they could ask for. It's day four the build, and with the home's basic structure in place, the crew is installing heating and cooling ducts, the electrical is going in, and in spite of the rain, I'm on my way to check in with Zach to film in on what I've learned from my new BFF primetime Dion Sanders. How's it going, man? You guys staying dry? Woo! I mean, kind of. Honestly, you don't even know the half, because... Oh, dude, does that put us behind at all? It yeah. definitely didn't help. Dude, does that put us behind at all? This isn't even that bad. Well, I just got back from hanging out with my buddy Dion. I don't really like to talk about it. You love this. It was so you? awesome. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it was pretty sweet. I was just like, keep together, keep together, keep together. Yeah. Like, it was cool. He and Tracy, really nice, really yeah. down to earth. I can't um, believe they're into a tiny house. Yeah, well, they live right now in a rental. It's 7,000 square feet. <laughs> You want to know what's oh the craziest God. part about that? What? That that is a serious downsize for them. The house they had before, just sit for a second. Trust me, I don't want you to faint. Oh, I can use that, actually. Ready? Yeah. 29,000 square feet. 29,000 square feet! You could fit 100 tiny houses in there. So uh, 
That's not a house. No. That's an apartment complex. Yeah. A it's good like a size one. The thing is, there's a lot of clutter. That's exactly what we talk about all the time. It's like this idea of tiny and downsizing is just a perspective. Yes. You know? Yes, exactly. Depending on where you came from. So let me tell you sort of the key things. Staycation. Retreat. Uh-huh. Some place where he and Tracy can escape for a week or two at a time and have it just be them. And that's what the tiny house is. Yeah. No, I mean, I love it. For Dion, fishing is what he's like most passionate about. The bathroom. It's got to have like a really nice shower for Dion. And she definitely wants storage yeah. and like just an ability for things to be put away. I'm just rattling this off. Can you tell how excited I am? You're kind of reminding me of a Labrador right now. Don't throw a frisbee. I might, I might chase after him. I know it's a lot. Are you following what I'm saying? It's fishing, storage. Yep. And then it's like elevated bathroom. Yeah, and then a movie area. Did I tell you that? It's called the living room. Well, there. I promise a television. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the only other thing is that, like, this is a tiny house for Dion freaking Sanders, Hall of Fame football player. We need a Hall of Fame house. Okay, that's all okay. I'm saying. All right. All right. So if this is the top. Yeah. We're going here. We're going to prime time level. <laughs> got it? Okay. I got it. Okay. I got it. We'll let you down, John. Dude, this is going to be so fun. I know you won't, man. It's day five of the build, and now that the skies have cleared, the crew is making headway on the home's exterior, installing mesh backing and filling it in with concrete while inside, sheetrock is being installed. While they wrap that up, I'm bringing Dion and Tracy to get a peek at their new tiny retreat. You guys can see a little yes, bit Yes, we can. I'm starting to get excited. Me too. You haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> it's time. Come on over. Come on. I want you guys to be able to see it better. Oh. I love yes. where they placed it. Because the lake is right there. The house used the future lake. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to feel like we are on vacation someplace. Hey, Zach! I see that familiar face. Oh, yeah, hey. well, you recognize the suspenders, yes. huh? He's always somewhat dirty and sweaty. Well, yeah, because oh, he's the one that works like hard. <laughs> Damn, oh, <man. laughs> There's a nice thing. Thank you. This is looking great. A very unique exterior. Yeah. 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 Every house should have a rooftop deck. Thank you, yes. sir. Like, yeah. everyone. I mean, it's just wasted space otherwise. Yes, it is. As far as, like, the fishing and, and stuff, is this just a couple of poles? No, no, no. no. I, I usually fish with four poles. Okay. and a couple boxes, you know, full of lures okay. and everything. So I'm going to need somewhere to store all of that. Yeah. Should we get in here and you yeah. guys want to see? I want to see. Oh. Come on in. OK. Yay. Feel the space wow. a little bit. Yay. Unbelievable. Feel the height on the ceilings yeah. here, right? This does not feel claustrophobic no. at all. Now, this is yeah. more than great. Any kind of way to in the ground that they could put, like, a foot massager. I just, I'm just throwing that out since we're here. A foot massager. Zach. Yeah. Make the that's man happy. Easy to do. Make the man happy. <laughs> see, see that right there? Oh my God. That's, that's three surgeries. Zach, take your shoes off. This is going to be so gross. gross. Hey! Oh, happened to you? It was a bicycle accident. You have a toe, brother! I'm so excited for you and really disgusted. Dude! <laughs> my God! Zach's feet, baby. You know I don't curse. Yeah. I use profanity. Yeah. But I thought it. Like, when I saw his feet, yeah. there's a whole lot of words came to my mind. Dang, eh? Yeah. I'm going to be honest. This took a much different turn than I thought yeah. it was going to go. Yeah. Um, All right, well, just so you know, you're standing in the living room. Kitchen is going back against this wall. It's going to be a full wraparound countertop. Sink, uh, refrigerator, four-burner range, dishwasher. Is there any little area that you can create? You know how they do, like, in the hotels where they have, like, the little area where they have snacks and stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like maybe there's Here a cool yeah. panel or something. Exactly. I don't know exactly. That's all we okay. Yeah, we can do that. I am all for making this house as amazing as possible for Dion. But John's a little out of control here. The biggest part for her is the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, the bathroom is really the one real tiny house element that you have. I don't want you to get scared. You this know? is nice, though. It's going to be the vanity, big mirror over here, oh. toilets going right here next to the door, and then the shower. This is a nice size shower. It is. Yeah. I just want the shower to just hit me all over like a <laughs> oozy. You know, just, just like shoot me like a oozy. Shoot me all over, baby. Okay. Well, I'm glad we had this talk. Yeah, I guess the biggest struggle for us is going to be, and I know you guys probably can't do this, is that we're used to two sinks. Like, yeah, we can do that. We really? Can. Sure. Ooh, okay. Yes. What are you doing? Why are you just trying to give them everything that they want? It's Deion Sanders. 
Okay, the problem with two sinks is plumbing is the hardest thing that we can add at this point. Okay. So adding another sink? It would be kind of a design complication. So I can't promise anything. Okay. Mm. Wow. Look at this view. Oh, my We're God. We're up amongst the trees. And the lake's going to be right there. I can yeah. fish from up here. I would love to do yoga up here. There's a way that That's you can nice create a right yoga there. area for me. Like, that would be amazing. Do you need anything more than just like a mat? It's just like um, shade. Yeah. Also, I want like a, a, a indoor, outdoor TV, like a big screen. Ooh. Since we have some room up here, what about a big projector or something Are like that? Are you serious? Token. You could do something like that? <laughs> well, yes. Token, you man. see? I'm like, I mean, we can, right? Okay. And now John is trying to throw in a movie theater. It's like I'm going down an avalanche right now, and John is just looking at the pretty mountains. <laughs> no <laughs> help at all. Just give the man what he wants. Yes. It's fine. Just give the man what he wants. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. OK. Well, where's your optimism? This is your opportunity to just, like, kill it. Well, when you offer to build a tiny runway for his private jet, like, that is where I'm drawing the line. OK, see? That's good communication. Scratch that off the list. I would love something so that there's and some kind of food or drink access yeah. up here. If you're going to be up here watching movies mm -hmm. on that big, beautiful yeah. screen we're talking about, then we should have some snacks up here. Let's do that. Come on, Zach. I don't know if like a cooler would be sufficient kind of thing. I mean, that way we don't have to go downstairs and be in these. Cooler. But they're gonna have some cool version of a cooler bed. That's for him to well, figure I... out what it looks like. Zach, we bond it with our feet. Yeah. <laughs> in my mind, yeah, I could see just like maybe making refreshments somewhat of a priority. That sounds good. Okay. So you guys, you're happy. We're yeah. we're past happy. Yeah. We... Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you feel like that. I, mm -hmm. We actually, I, we, it's united. Mm -hmm. Something to ask of, of you, Dion, as well. Uh -oh. Can we get an autograph? Ooh. Just give me right there. Get you right there. Can you, I don't know where you're going to sign mine, here on the back. Could you have absolutely picked a more awkward place to get a signature? I don't know. I can't <laughs> believe I did that. I hate that I did that. It was so fanboy, just lame. Yeah. Ugh. I'm actually embarrassed for you. The only thing we have to do now is get out of here so Zach can get all this stuff we've asked for let's done. Let's get Zach busy. Yeah, yeah, let's get him busy. Zach, I believe in you. I do too, Zach. <laughs> oh, trust me. Make it happen, Zach. He will. Yay. But let's get out of here so those okay. hands can do some work. All right, bye, Zach. All right. Okay. Come on. Bye, guys. While the crew gets back to work painting the home's interior, Zach and our general contractor, Justin, are wasting no time coming up with an ambitious solution for one of Dion and Tracy's new requests. They had asked for a snack bar in the living room. And at the same time, they had asked for a snack bar on the roof. Right. So correct me if I'm sounding crazy here, but I'm kind of thinking that that can be the exact same snack bar. Yes, you're sounding a little bit crazy here, Zach. <laughs> if we can make this shaft go from the living room to the rooftop deck, I can give them a snack bar in both places. Plus, it can act like a dumbwaiter so they can transport goodies up and down. A tiny house with an elevator. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm calling taking it to the prime time level. Well, you're known for your projects. So as long as you can get it done without hurting our deadline, I think we can make it happen. All right. It's day six of the build, and the crew is mounting decorative stonework to the exterior of the home and adding some organic character by using wooden planks to create an accent wall. While they work on that, Zach is putting his creativity into overdrive brainstorming a way to create a sunshade for the yoga space that Tracy asked for and give them even more. My whole concept for the rooftop awning is that it's going to provide shade for the yoga zone, but it's also going to be built out of the same material that we use for projection screens. And so part of that awning is going to be on pivots, and when they want to turn it into a movie theater, it just rotates down so they can have a full movie theater on the rooftop deck. While Zach works on the details of his convertible sunshade, I've asked Dion and Tracy to meet me at their big home to go through a little tiny living preseason workout. My man. What's up, Dion? How you doing, man? You doing all right? Yeah, yeah. Tracy here? Come on. We're not wasting any time. We're getting right to business. What are we doing? Up and Adam. We're coming to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yes. It's cluttered. Everything is cluttered. This all made quite an impression on me the first time I came through here. Is this your dream bathroom? Is this the no, ideal bathroom? No, uh -uh. Why not? Because normally I'm a neat freak. Okay. You know, yeah. but we just don't have space to put everything. Well, let's think about the tiny house, because the bathtub, 
roughly the tiny house bathroom. No. That tub's the size of the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. I want you guys to simulate getting ready for going out in the town. Okay. But you got to do it together in a confined space, and we're going to see how mm. that feels. I need to clear my vanity area. I got you. Here you go, babe. Clear nice. your junk. Here you go. No problem. Can we like get rid that. of your big speaker? I got you. I All got right. You. Babe, you can take this big bag of junk, too. When I had to clear my area in the bathtub so that I can put makeup on or whatever, I realized how cluttered we were. Every time you, you, you say clutter, you look at me, though. Yeah, because he's the main clutterer. Take the headphones. OK. OK. Right, we're cleaning up. Take your green pail. Oops. I'm looking for this. Maybe this pencil. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not mine. OK, well, you know, there was a pencil in my vanity what area. What about with a pencil? <laughs> I don't know. We're not bringing any green pails or pencils to the tiny house, OK, no, babe? No clutter, babe. Not at all. OK. Now you see why we need need two spaces, right? I'm starting I mean, to see it. Yeah, because that was all of Dion's stuff. I guess everything's relative. I mean, Dion thinks he knows how to go tiny because he went from a 29,000-square-foot house to a 7,000-square-foot house. But if you take all the stuff that's just in this one room and you put that in a tiny house, I mean, Welcome to Tiny Hoarder Nation. All right, well, have a seat. OK. And I, I, mean, I get that this is a little silly. What I'm hoping that you guys get from this is a feeling of how a smaller space than you're used to, how that can change. What is an everyday activity? Yeah. I can tell you that, and that's fine. But when you feel it, I you feel know, it. Yeah, well, I know you do. <laughs> I'm already minimal. I'm you are minimal, sir. Does he look like he's minimal, John? <laughs> Uh, I've also uh, learned to all never look get like in he's the middle minimal. of these kind of arguments, so I will. Whenever oh, you're minimal. It's, okay. it's, that is all his stuff. That speaker, mine. the pencil, no, the mine. green pail. It's not my pencil. <laughs> the point being that it may feel different, and that different, a lot of times, is scary, but it's not a bad thing. You guys can continue getting ready for your date night, okay? All right. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate Thank it. You. Okay. It's day seven of the build, and while the crew is laying down pergo wood flooring in our primetime tiny home, Zach is busy constructing the metal framework for his snack elevator and cutting through the sheetrock where the elevator door will go. As he works on that, Dion has asked me to meet up with him at a local practice field where he's coaching for his youth organization, Truth, for a quick chat. So what's up? I got a little problem. OK. It's, it's our anniversary. And, um, our anniversary? We just met, buddy. <laughs> No, I I messed you. I messed you. You chase it? Yeah. Okay. okay. But I want to see if you can hook me up, man. I, I need the crib done, man. Um, done. I want to be in the tiny house for our anniversary. Our anniversary is only two days before it should be done. I hope we can pull this off. You mean you want the home done in 12 days instead of 14? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're putting me in an awkward position. I've already added so much to Zach's plate on this one that, I mean, moving up the build, that just, it's completely insane. How do I say no to Deion Sanders? I, I, I tell you what, you don't. We'll do it. Because I, <laughs> there's this smile. We'll, we'll make it happen. But we pull this off, I'm going to need you to do something for us. We'll do it, but we pull this off. Yeah. I'm going to need you to do something for us. How about you let Zach and I and maybe some of the boys come down here and just toss the football around with you, just so we can say, yeah, we're playing you, catch what, with the mean, what, what you mean? Because, you know, well, I was so just, I, I'm not going to let you beat me deep so you could go and tell all the kids and your, your friends, hey, our hey. most prime time. Hey, look, it ain't going to be all that now. So Well, I, what I was really thinking was just like us throwing the ball around, but yeah. like flag football. No tackle. And if you win, we'll give you those two sinks in the bathroom. Do I think that we can beat Deion Sanders and his coaches in a game of football? No, of course not. If we're losing two days of the bill already, does it make sense that we even take time to play a football game? I mean, probably not. But listen, this is a chance to play football against an NFL Hall of Famer. And if you think I'm going to pass that up, you're crazy. This is Deion Sanders. We'll just take a long lunch that day. OK. You down with that? I'm down with that. All right, then we will hook you up a house and give Tracy the best <laughs> present I love possible. you, man. I love you, man. So yeah, we're going to have to speed things up by a couple of days at the build site. But more importantly, 
Deion Sanders just hugged me. I mean, you guys saw that, huh? Yes? Yes. All right, you go, coach. I got to go thing. tell Zach what I just promised us to, OK? You can make it happen, baby. What we'll make it happen? We'll make it happen. Not me. Thanks, Prime Time. Not me. Uh, See you, buddy. Not me. Back at the build, the crew is putting some fun detailing into the bathroom, laying 3D textured tiles on the walls. Check this out. We'll lay them in different patterns. To the OK. Wall. I've never seen anything like that. It's super fun. And dark, slate-colored tiles are being added to line the inside of the roomy shower. Zach's convertible sunshade frame is also being welded as the chimney area on the rooftop deck is being prepped to hold the projector unit that will go inside. As that's done, I'm checking in with Zach to see how he's holding up and to break the news of our shortened timeline. You up there, buddy? Hey, 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 Zach! What? What do you mean, what? Oh, it's well, like a shower. It's not like I meant to do it on purpose. You know what? I wouldn't even blame you if you did at this point. <laughs> so how you doing? Yeah, we're doing good. We're in a full-time crunch zone. Where are we on your projects? Let me show you what I want to do for the elevator. Basically, using the space in the chimney, there's going to be a hole cut in the chimney that's going to access our snack bar, like this, you know? And I got to get it all figured out before I cut into it. But this is an automatic gate opener. OK. This is meant to take a really heavy gate on a horizontal direction. Yeah. What I'm going to be doing is taking it and making it go vertical and then having like a reasonably heavy elevator system that comes up through the cavity that we have for the closet. Wow. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, we got the motor, we got all the hardware, now yeah. we just got to do it. And then over here, John, yeah. this is going to be a big drawer okay. for the projector, awesome. you know, and it'll be able to pull it out and project it over to what is our yoga zone. Oh, OK. It'll be a nice shaded awning over here. Part of the awning will just be able to hinge down, and now it's the screen for the projector. So well, you got it. functional baby. Yeah. Can I, uh, can I throw one more thing at you? Mm -mm. This is a good thing. Well, OK. I don't know if I believe you. OK, so when I went and talked to Dion, he asked if we could move our timeline up a couple of days so he could have the tiny house in time for his anniversary, and I basically said we could do that. Did I just hear what I think I did? Because I don't have a tiny time machine. And unless John's going to provide one, this is going to be a problem. I sort of threw something at him about getting a chance to play football. You want to do a football game? Well, don't you? And I'm just saying, if you got an hour. I totally don't have any time to spare. But, you know, How if awesome. you're going to be playing football with Dion and you need a teammate, you know I'm not going to let you down. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, good. This is awesome. OK, this I'll talk with Justin. I'm pretty sure he'll be into it, too. OK, I got a whole thing of plays that you're going to have to look over. Oh, really? Yeah. You're it's pretty be... serious about this, huh? Oh, yeah. It's day eight of the build. And while I've spent the morning taking Tracy on a quick field trip to pick out furniture for her new home. We got to give the man his black couch, I think. It's kind of sexy cool. OK. Yeah. Oh. You want to test drive it? <laughs> yeah, let's see. It's very comfortable, actually. This is a good couch. Zach has found some extra crew members to come and dig in so we can get this home done a few days early, in time for Dion and Tracy's anniversary. And they're already working to install large closets in the couple's bedroom downstairs. They're also making progress upstairs, cutting an opening for the snack bar elevator and lowering the elevator shaft framework into place in the chimney column. Now, they're getting ready to install steel support beams along the porch to support the roof. And I've arrived back at the build to help lend a hand so we can make sure to get this home done in time for Dion and Tracy's anniversary. Just be careful, it's really hot. John, don't try to hold the whole thing, oh, okay? fudge. This is hot. OK. Hey, hang right. on, hang on. I can hold can this. You, can you? Yeah, OK. okay. Let's get him the ladder. It just got heavier. Uh, We're going to just feed it up gonna... to you if you could guide it into place, yeah. Zach. Okay. All right, it's not there yet. I'm gonna have to square this bottom up, and I'm gonna have to pull oh, out. I got it. Okay, on. here. All right, make no. sure you're. You got that, Justin? What? Hold on. Okay, hold, John, hold on. you got that? No, I don't. I don't. John, I don't. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, John, hold on. you got that? No, I don't. I don't. John, I don't. John, don't. No, I don't have it. You okay? I'm good. I'm fine. I didn't realize that you thought I had it up at the top. I burned myself a little. 
Oh, yeah. As it came down, I was like, Ks. Well, because it kind of rolled on me. and it, I didn't mean to let it go. I, I thought that you guys had it. I'm sorry. But it's okay. fine. OK, quick body inventory here. Arms, legs. Yep, check. Yeah, head check. Yeah, all right, good. Carry on, nothing to see here. OK, let me get this corner on here. Okay, all right, let's, let's get it let's, squared at the bottom. Yeah, there it is. Hold on, hold on. I'll get up there on the ladder now. There it is. All right. Yeah, the top needs to come towards us, man. That's good, that's good. OK. Hey, awesome. good news, guys. Only five more of these. <laughs> the rest of the beams went into place with a lot less drama. And then with the roof properly supported, the crew has started building the rooftop deck with beautiful and durable pressure-treated wood planking. And elsewhere, on a quiet field in a small Texas town, an epic battle, one for the ages, is about to take place, where tiny egos and massive stakes are on the line. Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the first ever Tiny House Nation Flag Football Tournament of Champions. John Weisbrot alongside Zach Giffen. John, our two teams have only had a tiny amount of practice time, and it shows. Let's take a look at our matchups. First up, Team Primetime, captained by two-time Super Bowl champion and Hall of Famer, Deion Sanders. Do you think the kids that we coach really respect us? That we allow some tiny house dudes <laughs> to beat us? Oh, no. No. Looks like Team Primetime came ready to play, John. Absolutely, Zach. They look loose and confident. That's exactly what you want to see. <laughs> now for our challengers. Team Tiny, co-captained by John Weisbarth, the former sportscaster and all-around tall person, and Tiny House expert, pro skier, and suspender enthusiast, Zach the Hammer Giffen. Yes, I'm wearing my suspenders. This is where I get my power from. This is my socks. I played 14 years. I don't know anyone that has ever had the problem with their pants being held up during a football game. The <laughs> suspenders don't belong on the football field. Right. <laughs> Looks like Team Tiny still has some kinks to work out. Let's hope they can pull it together when the game is on the line. It's a primetime matchup. We've got kickoff coming up right after this. 99 times out of 100, they're going to beat us. Well, maybe today is that day that they don't. Tiny! Tiny! Yeah. This is the way we play. OK. It's 15 yards, first down. Are we playing the full field? Yeah. OK. Uh, we want to high step and everything. We want to try to bust a hamstring. OK. So we're playing okay. sudden death. First touchdown oh, wins. And the stakes, here's what we're playing for. OK. You want that fancy bathroom. Yes, I do. You got to earn it. No, you beat us. We deliver. OK, if we beat you, which we're going to do, you'll deliver. But if we beat the brakes off you, everybody gets the tiny out. <laughs> What have you done? I don't know. What have I done? Boom, 44! Green 16! Set! Hey. Oh, it's a trick play, and Giffen with the ball, he makes a lateral pass. Go get him! Oh, he's down! Go get him, Mook! What a catch by Weisbar! Go get him, Mook! Awesome. That's a first down. It looks like Team Tiny's come to play against the former Defensive Player of the Year. That was actually a good play. I just hope they didn't wake a sleeping giant. We know the play we've worked on, right? I'm going for you, though. No, you're not going for me. You're going for Justin deep. Justin's going deep on the left. Yes, yeah. No, yeah, I'm gonna over here on the, on the oh, right. Okay, okay. I'm going to hold. Hey, you need a piece of wood to write the plays on? Do you remember? remember? Don't worry, I brought my power suspenders. <laughs> All right, ready? Good. <laughs> I hope they don't take that long with my house as they take in the huddle. Set, hut, hut! <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? I mean, make a play. Come on. I don't know. I'm a skier. No! Oh. 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 I hope you can build a house better than you build a team. Well, that was brutal. Hopefully, the team Tiny can play defense a tiny bit better than they play offense. Team Primetime is putting on a clinic now, just dismantling <laughs> Team Tiny's defense. Ball, 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 ball. Touchdown, oh. Team Primetime! <laughs> I'm not one to brag or boast. Oh, man. I would never do that. But in this case, 
We kick their butts. I just hope they don't take this out on my home. Yeah. I'm on the rooftop and fall right through. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I didn't know you guys was back there. Can we just say that that was super, super cool that we just played football with the National Football Hall of Famer. I mean, did we score a touchdown? No. Yeah. Did we stop them from scoring a touchdown? No. So I guess you get in both sinks. Thank you. One honest question. Uh, yes, honest. sir. Do you guys have an ice bath? Yeah. <laughs> Good game, boys. It's day nine of the build, and the build site is buzzing with activity in order to ensure this tiny house will be completed in time for Dion and Tracy's anniversary in just three days. Luckily, the crew is executing their game plan to perfection, installing the deck railing up along the rooftop and mounting decorative stonework on the chimney stack, while downstairs, the glass panels of accordion doors are being put into place. While that's happening, I've limped over to the build to catch up with Zach. Hey, what's up, John? Tell me, licking your wounds still? <laughs> no, but I'm pretty darn sore. I'm just impressed I can walk. But you got to admit, that was pretty fun. That's the, I wanted right? to hear you say. I mean, did it put you too far behind? Uh, I mean, it definitely didn't help. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. It's just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You don't miss that kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, how are we doing? We're moving ahead on the hardest parts of it. OK, good. So you know that I told you we were going to actually wall in underneath the stairs. OK, wow, this is like a full room. We've built tiny houses this big before. <laughs> <laughs> On the inside, I want to do a whole like cabinet area for fishing tackle. And then check this out. We have massive cutting board. Ah. It's basically going to live in the wall like this. Now it hinges down, chains come out, cha-chink, and now dion has got a nice, solid fish cleaning table. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, you don't want to do that inside. And so I want to have a little hose, spray it off, clean it up, awesome. <laughs> pull it back up. Duns is done. John, I love that. You might not have your own private lake, but you can make use of your lucky fishing gear even inside your home. Even if you can't make time fishing at the lake, you can still lay back and relax in your old fishing boat. Just put water on the inside, and you've got a clever bathtub boat to soak in. If you've been up the creek a few too many times, don't throw out those old paddles. They can be repurposed and find new life as a handmade bench. This old tackle box can have a new lease on life. Just fill it with soil and plants, and you've got a gorgeous tiered planter. Finding creative uses for retired fishing gear can keep your closets clutter-free and your conversations full in a tiny space. All right, cool. Well, we good? Yeah, we're good. All right. A lot of high fives. It must be Dion. Bring that out of <laughs> While Zach and I tend to our wounds, the crew is busy inside the tiny home installing custom kitchen cabinets and mounting beautiful quartz countertops. The secret shelf door for the snack elevator is also being painted in red, Dion's favorite color. Yeah, yeah, we see you. We see you. We see you. Hey, Zach. Oh, man. How you doing, sir? Uh, just basking in the glory, aren't yeah. you? I do that really well. It's all right. You won fair and square. And I'm definitely going to give you your two cents. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I got to go get material. This so. fish. You and me? Yeah. You kill a couple hours while they get to the set? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, while I'm working, John just goes off fishing with Dion. All right. Yeah. We'll see you we'll soon. Right. You. <laughs> How come we didn't get to go fishing? I'm calling my agent. I'll tell you what, I'll take care of the demo. Anytime you're going to change up a major design element halfway through the build, you're probably going to run into issues. By putting two sinks in the bathroom, what we have to do now is make two drains. I'm going to go call the plumber right now. What is it about fishing that you love? I think the, the serenity of it. It's really not the catching. It's a time to just not have to think about anything but just some fishing. Right, right. And I, and I, I love it. Tell me about Tracy. How you know? I know the. Uh, Anniversary's coming up. How yeah. long have you guys been together? We've been together for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> She's been one of the best things that has ever happened to me. Wow. She sounds like a good partner. She's a good person. And that's why you want us to finish this off before the anniversary. Now. I want you to finish it now. <laughs> While Dion schools me on the finer points of fishing, Zach is working on a surprise for Dion, and he's asked Tracy to stop by and help out. Hey! Oh. Hey, Tracy. I'm building him a tackle box. Oh, that's and a great idea. I just thought it would be really fun for you to come and help me. I haven't picked up a hammer since, like, wood shop. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the lid. They're going to open like this. OK. So I want to make the inlay on the front. All right. Dan's favorite thing in the world to do is fish. And so this is going to cater to that. And Dion's going to be so excited because 
I made it. So. Ooh. Now. Like a puzzle. Well, it's a little bit like icing a cake. And now. It looks like yes, a bath, right? Yes, that looks really good. I need your help on one more thing. Can I Listen. get a piece of wood? I want to make one more thing that is super, super important for this tiny house. Hey, if you want to do something for this tiny house, I, I will find you wood. So since this tiny house is a little retreat for only Dion and I, I'm working on a little inside joke that I hope he'll appreciate. It's day 10, and our tiny home build is entering the fourth quarter. But we're going to have to make a hard push to get this house done in time for Dion and Tracy's anniversary. The crew is busy painting the rooftop deck, and underneath, the ceiling of the porch and columns are getting a coat of paint in Dion's favorite colors, red and black. Zach is installing shelves inside the fishing storage cabinet, and the crew is now adding the framework to hold a mini fridge in the couple's snack bar. While that blur of activity happens, I'm meeting up with Zach to make sure that everything is coming together according to plan. Zach, check it out. This is oh. the projector. He's going to flip out. Oh. I love it. The elevator's causing the problem right now. What do you mean? We're having some technical difficulties with the mechanism. The this elevator doesn't work? No. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. The whole function of this is based on an automatic gate opener. Yeah. So right in here, right? That was the problem is that we had it going. It worked like 10 times in a row. All of a sudden, it's just not. I'm basically walking a tightrope without a net here. I got less than 48 hours to find a new solution to replace the elevator motor. I don't know if there's enough time. Uh, all right, guys. It's day 11 of the build, and the crew is painting the rooftop deck railing, while inside, they're mounting stone veneer surfaces to the fireplace mantle. While they work on that, Dion has asked for my help finding a surprise gift for Tracy to celebrate their anniversary. I like that. I, I really do like that. That one? I like the that bangle. one. I want to get Tracy a gift, but I want to wait till we're up on the rooftop of the deck. Yeah. I'm going to let John hold on to it, so when we get there, boom, we can surprise her with it. Like, you, like I'm, I'm going to be like your best man. This is great. Yeah, you're going to be like my good man. So I'm in charge of this gift until Dion is ready to surprise Tracy with it. It's a little bit scary, but it's also super cool. And it's definitely going on my resume because I am officially Dion Sanders, I mean, not best man, but at least like pretty good man. That's cool. I can handle you it. You can handle it. Yes. All right, let's go wrap this up. It's going to be a good anniversary. Back at the build, the crew is working on all the bells and whistles. They're going to make this home unforgettable. Zach is installing his convertible sunshade movie screen, and it's being set up to operate from a smartphone app by the specialists at InHome Genius. While they're here, they're setting up the home's lighting and sound system to also run right from a phone. If that happens, I'm checking in to see if Zach has found a solution to the snack elevator that was stuck on the ground floor. How are we with the elevator thing? What if I told you the elevator will work? Yeah. When? By tomorrow. <laughs> he said with confidence. Well, the whole automatic gate opener? Yeah. That's our problem. So I'm going with old, reliable, remote-controlled winch. OK. 2,500-pound winch. That's a and lot of snacks. Now this is going to live and connect onto this beam you see. OK. The winch is going to wrap around the beam, and then we mount the winch just on top of our whole elevator system. And then it's as simple as just pushing the button, the whole thing comes up. And then we were talking with the smart home geniuses. Yeah. They can actually rig up this system to work from the phone, too. I mean, that's that's the dream. So at this point, it's just a matter of getting it all done. Good thing is, I got better help than I've ever had before, so. Yeah, Justin and the team are really good. Yeah. Or did you mean me? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> it's all you, John. That's not true, <laughs> but I will take it. I'm going to call my mom. She's never going to believe it. Hey, Mom. <laughs> you know, he said I helped. It's day 12 of the build, and we have less than 24 hours before Dion and Tracy's anniversary. So we're hustling to wrap up just a few last-minute items before this incredible home is ready for prime time, and we can hand over the keys to Dion and Tracy. Landscapers have arrived and are planting trees to give a natural contrast to the home's clean, modern exterior, and the couple's upscale kitchen appliances are being delivered and installed. While that happens, ceiling fans are going in, and comfortable patio furniture for the rooftop deck has finally arrived. 
12 days ago, Zach and I arrived in Cedar Hill, Texas to help superstar power couple Deion Sanders and Tracy Edmonds build their tiny dream getaway home and downsize from their 7,000 square foot mansion to only 600 square feet of tiny bliss. I saw firsthand how even in a massive home, Dion and Tracy's busy lives and big families made it difficult for them to enjoy relaxing quality time together. They needed a tiny place to get away from big responsibilities and focus on making each other happy. And they had some wild requests for their new tiny staycation retreat. Being the fan that I am, I couldn't say no. The couple wanted their tiny oasis to have space to enjoy their favorite things like watching movies and doing yoga. So Zach found an ingenious way to combine both by transforming a serene rooftop yoga zone with shade into a luxury screening room for two. And since the couple likes their snacks, Zach even included a snack bar elevator so they'll never have to carry their dirty dishes back down to the kitchen as the credits roll. We were making great time, but when Dion asked us to move up our timeline to the couple's anniversary, we kicked things into overdrive. And in return, Zach and I got the once in a lifetime chance to play football against Dion. Zach made some quick decisions on the fly and made fast work of Tracy's request for a double sink. Plus, he got his stalled snack elevator moving just in time. On a budget of $130,000, we managed to fit as much luxury and comfort as possible in this tiny retreat. Now, it's finally time to welcome Dion and Tracy to the tiny home community. I haven't been this excited in a long time. This drive is taking, it feels like it's taking forever. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm doing nice. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, this is nice. Oh, it's so beautiful. Palm trees, baby. Oh, my God, I just noticed that. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. No visitors. I love this. Uh, that was my idea. I love this <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Let's check it out. Come on over. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Look at the red. I love it. It's Contrast. gorgeous. The stone it is, is gorgeous. beautiful. It looks like a little oasis. Come on, man. You, okay, okay, right. so you guys feel like seeing the inside? The yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Get in there. Okay. Get in there. I'll let you guys check it out. Zach and I will we'll come in in a moment. Is this the door? Yep. I know you like all these windows, Oh, you right? know yep. I do. Thank you. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. Yeah. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the fireplace. They even got our pictures, baby. <laughs> Baby, you picked the furniture? Yes, I did. I love all of this, baby. Oh, good. Yes, we got hardwood floors. You love that. That kind of pulls in nature a little bit, right? Baby, the kitchen is awesome, though. This was like a nice big this kitchen. This is a full kitchen. Yeah. Does, you want to see the yeah, bedroom first? Yeah, I want to see the bedroom first. Okay. No, I like this. <laughs> oh. Let me see okay, your closet. Okay, let's see the closet. Baby, that's a huge closet. It is. For a tiny house. Yeah. That is huge. And they've got all the shelves and everything. Yep. Let's see your bathroom. Oh my gosh. This is huge. Oh my gosh. This is so gorgeous. They got the two sinks in here. Oh, you have to see the shower. You're going to be really happy with the shower. They hit me like a Uzi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they hit me like a Uzi. <laughs> They've got the ceiling faucet things, too. They could not do anything more with this bathroom. This Maybe bathroom they is, They did. Hello, hello. You guys, <laughs> oh Dude. my, you guys, I have to hug killed you guys again. Now. You guys outdid yourself. I'm not surprised easily, but this is a whole nother level. It's more yeah. than I could have ever imagined. I love it. You know, that contemporary modern feel on the outside, mm -hmm. we really wanted to transition that in here. And that's a clean line, it's muted tone. And you guys did such an amazing, beautiful, awesome job, like taking both of our tastes and incorporating it and blending it. It's just, I mean, it's incredible. It's really classy. I want to talk about the bathroom. I mean, we played a football game about this thing. <laughs> I'll sit here while you talk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was not that long ago. We were right in here, and you two wanted an octopus arm Uzi shooting yeah. shower. <laughs> Zach pulled it off. I was like, I was like, Zach, that's a tall order. I mean, how many different shower heads are in there? Like right. six or seven. Unbelievable. 
Honestly, the Uzi shower was actually easier to pull off than the two sinks. I just it need was... to praise all three of you guys for those two sinks. And it's gorgeous. The bathroom is off the chain. They got the two sinks in there. Thank you. They gave Thank me you. the Uzi shower that hits me all up over while I'm shaking. <laughs> Let's get back to what you guys really asked for and what you guys said you'd like to do. Watching movies, eating some snacks. My man. Your man, right here. Dedicated snack zone. Behind door number one. No. Very Snack no. zone. No. no With plenty of hot sauce. Okay, that's better than a hotel room. Oh, I love this. This is awesome. Oh, you guys have made me so happy. I this know. is awesome. I wish that was it. Yeah. Right? No, don't. No, man. Wait. That goes all the way up. No. No. You just went to the deck? No. All the way up to the deck. And I control it with my phone. That is so brilliant no, and so awesome. Do you want to go see where it oh, takes us? Oh, yes, I do. Well, let's yeah. go. Follow up. Yeah. Me. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm floored, and I'm not easily wowed whatsoever. Not at all. That right there, that's off the chain. It is. So before we go up there, come this way. Oh. Watch your step here. Be careful, baby. Okay. And that lake is there. It's gonna be all about fishing. And so that's what this is. <laughs> just undo the latches. Now the whole thing just oh my God. drops down. Oh. You got to be kidding me, it's man. Cutting board. You can clean your fish. And when you're done, here's a hose. No. no. Spray it off. No. This is <laughs> awesome. And it wouldn't be a tiny house if we didn't utilize understair storage. Oh, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, 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 I knew I'd yeah. strike a nerve. Oh, yes. This is huge. Wow. Recognize all your gear in here? Yes, I do. What is this? Oh, Bring it out here. Let's put it on the table. Something Zach and I made for you. With your hands? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we did this nice inlay of the bass in the top. If you open it up, oh, now yeah, you've got a little transportable indica. one. Oh. You can take on the boat with you. All right. Baby, you did that. A little bit of help. <laughs> How proud of you, Thank girl. Thank you. Thank you. Do you guys probably want to see the top? Okay, let's go. You guys ready? All yep. right, come on. All right. Look at Tracy. She's like, I no, no, we have to go wait. up here. Oh, my oh God. My... Look at Tracy. She's like, I no, no, we have to go wait. up here. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Ah. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Now, this is a dick. Yes. yes. This is awesome, you guys. This it's is so a pretty up deck. here. You can see some yoga out here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that little canopy in case we need shade in case at, it's at too hot. At the height of the dig, this is perfect shade. God, I could fish from right here. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I can bring a book out here, take naps out here. God. You guys, I'm so ready to start tiny house living. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that is so great. Is that the spot where the little snack thing comes up? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Shall we yeah. check it out? Yep. Undo the latch. Open it up. Here it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Good Lord. It's just brilliant. The stuff they did is the kind of stuff you call people and tell people, and they don't believe. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, yeah. dude, I got an elevator for my food. And there's plenty of hot sauce. Yes. Thank you for all the yeah. hot sauce, too, by the way. Yeah, oh, yeah, listen, there was no way that thing wasn't going to be stocked with hot sauce. Yes. I cannot get over You guys thought of that. everything up here. This is the most tiny house chimney that's ever been built in yeah. the entire world. We got an elevator in there, and we also have storage on this side for all of your electronics, including you a projector. Me, a projector? A man, projector. Stop, Canted stop. on the perfect angle. Stop. To be showing right towards your projector screen. Stop. What projector what proje screen? Yeah. Oh, that's funny that you asked that. I guess I'll just have to. No, dog. No. No. <laughs> no. So did somebody oh. order a movie theater? OK, that is so clever. I did not see that coming. That is so clever. Oh, my gosh. I told you they had some. I told you they had some. This is why I love this show, man. I told you they had some plan for us. Baby, got me on that one. I ain't saying. A canopy that flips over into a movie screen. Yeah. Like that right there. That's off the chain. It is. I, I don't know what to say. And I knew you had one up your sleeve, and I couldn't figure it out. No, I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> as far as a construction project goes, there was a lot of requests. 
John had. Whoa, 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 whoa. A lot of requests that I relayed. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, that's a good point. Let's keep in mind who you was doing the requesting. You guys got every request in, though. Like, I mean, I can't think of anything that we're no, missing. Not, no, no. There was a lot of pressure. I mean, it's not every day that we get to build for a Dion and a Tracy, <laughs> you know? And so this was, this was a big deal for us. It makes us really happy, for sure. This is everything that we need as a couple. Thank you. There is one more little thing we gotta we gotta take care of, though, right? Oh, That's right. I almost forgot. You know, yeah. It is our five year anniversary, and I want to blow a man. I want to set it off. I want to be that. Oh, oh man! I wanted to make her call all her girlfriends and tell all her girlfriends what I did. Thought okay. I forgot. <laughs> Thought I forgot. It's our anniversary. <laughs> Thought I forgot. I was not <laughs> expecting this. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 That's when you know you did that thing, right? You did that thing. Oh, no, that was a whole drop. You just that thing. Oh, oh, when, when you know you did that thing, right? You babe, just start moving. Yeah. Babe, babe, you yeah. Right. Sorry. Give me, and I need a hug, too. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Fifth anniversary, so your yeah. your surprise is coming. What you talking about, girl? What she well, talking about? Before we run off for that surprise, <laughs> what she talking about? When we first thought about Deion Sanders going tiny, there was a lot of head scratching. Why does Deion even want to do that? And then getting to talk to you guys and understanding that this was about the two of you guys really having a place to connect, to get away from the chaos, and asked for a lot. I mean, there were yoga zones, there was big screen stuff. <laughs> and it's not that we didn't want to do everything possible, it's just um, we didn't want to let you down. I'm so grateful. Thank you guys so much. You made us so happy. Well, it was absolutely our pleasure. The last thing it's to amazing. do is to officially welcome you guys to the tiny house community. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, you guys. Welcome. Yay. This is our key. Yes. yes. Your okay, key to tiny living. Our tiny house. How they were able to like blend everything together and make both of us so happy. Like, I mean, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys so much. But you know, it is our anniversary. It's anniversary time, absolutely. Yeah. No. No, 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 I mean, like, they're sick of us, Dion. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank guys. you guys. I really feel like we have the best tiny house ever, but I know everybody probably feels the same way, but yeah, I but really they do. They just yeah. saying that. Just, we, we stay serious, but uh. Yeah. Thank you. Happy anniversary, my love, to us. To us. We love everything about the tiny house. It provokes peace, joy, serenity, love, appreciation, all that, all that. And you know what else, too, is that this is the first time that we've had a chance to create a spot together, and it feels really special. Is this peace, baby? Baby, this is the life. Thank you. This peace? Mm-hmm. I just peace. want you to be peaceful. Yes. It's been two months since Dion and Tracy celebrated their anniversary by taking the keys to their tiny romantic staycation retreat. How have they adjusted to a break in their whirling storm of work, responsibility, and family? We're headed to Texas to find out. Yes, that breeze feels so nice. Going tiny has brought us even closer, right, babe? Yeah, the living space is definitely comfortable. Man. So, yeah, the bathroom is awesome. So I have my space to get myself ready. He doesn't have to invade my space because he's got his own space. We got a wonderful shower. Hits you from all angles. <laughs> all angles. Like a car wash. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. And I love the deck. I've totally used my yoga zone, and I love it. Like, because I'm outside, I have a nice view, I'm in nature. The only downfall is when it rains. And so when it rains, you know, then you get the wet deck and stuff. But it hasn't been raining that much, so we're, we're good. And we have our snack stations. I don't have to go up and down the stairs. It's easier than carrying things, right? Oh, it's right? definitely easier. Yeah. It's definitely easier. Okay. You hungry? Mm, it's nice. All right, I'm gonna get popcorn. And then I'm at least, uh, what, probably about half a mile from anybody else. And we love that. That's the best part. Yeah. The tiny house is not for family. <laughs> the tiny house is just for us. Well, I happen to think this was, like, the best anniversary gift ever, because this is the gift that keeps on giving. Foot massages will always do the trick. I would recommend tiny houses, you know, to everybody. Once upon a time, we, we, we thought we needed more in an extravagance of life, and really, you don't. Nobody's going to top this one. 
No, I think this has got to be the best tiny house ever. I'm convinced. So we're happy. It's wonderful.